DNA is crazy, folks. You never know what rabbit hole you're going to end up going down. You'll enjoy this. Let me share the story. Doing research for a video on a match I connect to over on My True Ancestry, I ended up revisiting this PDF I had downloaded. It's titled The Genomic History of the Iberian Peninsula Over the Past 8,000 Years. And as I was looking over the study, I saw this timeline chart that was really well done and clear to look at. So I put my research of my match with the Bronze Age Serbian to the side for a moment. I wanted to share this timeline with the group I'm in over on Facebook. I just thought it would be useful for them. It's an Iberian genealogy group. Once posted in a short while, I got a comment from my online friend in the group. And he wrote something that threw me off from where my head was at. But sometimes that can be a good thing, but again, rabbit holes will lead you down a path that makes it hard to get back where you were. He wrote, How about why DNA R1B from Siberians, ancient Central Asia, would that be considered Volga, Ural, Pannonian Basin? And then he writes, EV13 is Eastern Med Y DNA? Question mark. And that threw me off since my post was about the Iberians in that particular timeline. He must have obviously been working on the why haplogroup matter, and I was thinking in terms of an autosomal view of things. There's just too many roads when studying all this, and they can branch out in every which direction. So I replied to him with, By Siberians, do you mean that R1B, the Yamnaya, and their offshoots spread in each direction, or are you saying Siberians interchangeably with the Yamnaya? Because I really didn't know. Then he replied, I think that ancient interchange, ancient Siberians that crossed from Russia had R1, or almost became R1, the ones that crossed from the Bering Ice Corridor. I was reading some things about that by Carlos Giles. Anyway, we went back and forth, and he suggested I look at a site called Snip Tracker. That's where I lost the plot to my original research. But it's cool that happened because there's interesting things to share about it. In any event, I decided to go down the rabbit hole and went over to the SNP tracker site. I needed to enter my haplogroup so the map could render a timeline for me. I've not done a deep dive test for my haplogroup like they do over on FTDNA, but I did do a Morley test a few years back, which uses your raw autosomal DNA file to get you your haplogroup results. And recently, I also did the Adentro testing company, and they also give you a broad haplogroup based on your raw autosomal file. I ended up with the same R1B in both cases. R1B happens to be the most common and widespread haplogroup in Western Europe. So I inputted my Y-DNA into the SNP tracker site, and I finally saw what he meant about Siberia. You can see that the haplogroup starts in Africa during the Paleolithic in purple, and through the Arabian Peninsula, through Iran, and far into Asia. Then it loops back into the Mesolithic, where it reaches Iran, and up through Georgia. Then during the Neolithic, my R1B reaches the Balkans, and so on. You can see the number where the trail ends. That's as recent as the free options I've used can get me. So that would place my father's father direct line in that part of Europe during the Bronze Age. I also ended up on FTDNA and inputted my haplogroup according to that last number to see what they had to offer. Here's what I found on FTDNA. For the haplogroup story tab, that R paternal line was founded when it branched off from the ancestral R line and the rest of mankind around 3450 BCE. The man who's the most recent common ancestor of this line is estimated to have been born around 1500 CE. And he's the ancestor of at least two descendant lineages known as RCTS16475 and RFT4099995. And it goes on, there's 15 DNA tested descendants and they specified that their earliest known origins are from Puerto Rico and Dominican Republic with nine from unknown countries. Under the Nobles Connection tab, it shows I'm anciently and paternally connected to a bunch of famous people like Matthew Perry. There's also a timeline showing the common paternal link and where we branched off. So that's pretty cool. A few other matches are Woody Harrelson, Johnny Cash, and Tutankhamen. So he was R1B too. Under the Migrations tab, you can see how my R1B and its different branches spread across the world. In this image, it places my ancestral haplogroup in Uzbekistan, 
which is the father of all those other branches across the map. Maybe I've got it wrong though, but this is different than the map on the Snip Tracker site. But we're not going to bother with that for now. Under the Ancient Connections tab, we have an ancient paternal link that can be explored like this ancient person from the Caucasus region. He's from the early Bronze Age from 4,600 years ago. Anyway, this was a rabbit hole, but I'm glad I took the side road and explored it a bit. I'll need to revisit this in the near future, maybe do a specific haplogroup test to learn more. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll catch you next time.